Hi, we're here to talk about this uh, Starfall semi-custom mystery saber that uh, I was commissioned to install. It's a pretty standard install. This came to me with uh, the package that Nick can supply uh, called Install Prep. Uh, I've provided Nick with a few um, kind of standard chassis designs in case he decides to do something around them. So this was one of those sabers. Uh, very comfortable setup. So again, it came with the chassis. All I really had to do was put a profi in it and program it and call it a day. Let's hop down to the table. Let's talk about what went on with it, show off the chassis, um, explain a few functions, and then we'll come back out. I'll show a few blade styles, a few more functions, and we'll wrap it up. Thanks for checking it out. All right, so we're here to talk about semi-custom mystery saber number 53 from Starfall Sabers. So this was sent to me by the client. They had purchased the install prep package. So the kind of somewhat standard chassis that I designed for Nick to kind of include was already printed and sent to me. So all I really had to do was wire it up. That being said, the customer did provide the brass Kalimium Custom Sabers Phil Guinness switches. So on the left is your power, on the right is your aux. Uh, your blade retention screw is right here. We're sporting the shadow foil illuminated PCB NeoPixel connector. On the back side, this is the set screw for that connector, so do not mess with that. And then on the back side as well, this is the connector that holds the rotary PCB that allows for the removable ch chassis to work. So to get to everything, we do have a set screw for the pommel. So the customer didn't provide the tools, so I'm just pointing out with my particular um, Allen key. This is gonna be your pommel. This is gonna be your blade. These are the exact same sizes. This is a smaller size, so you won't be able to affect these, but just know you don't want to touch these two on the back. So to get to everything, we just undo the pommel. And I don't know if you saw, but there's a little bit of a spring action because the chassis system is now on pogo connectors. So I do already have a battery in here. This, I'm providing this to the customer. So here is the chassis with the stock rotary PCB design. So down in the bottom, you'll see the pogo connectors. So those just make contact to connect all the, the options. So the, the, this is a Profi V3 running OS 7.13, which is the most recent to date that I know of. You can get to everything if you have a 90 degree cable, but you can, if you need to prop the board up and lift the Profi to get the SD card if, if you don't have a 90 degree cable. I highly recommend getting one just so you can leave the Profi alone. But this chassis does come with a little bit of a tape strip so that if over time rotating the board wears out the friction fit, you have something to secure the board down. So we have a high amp kill switch to the right is gonna be on with the indicators there. So this does take an 18650, provided a custom battery wrap. Can just pop that out. So spring sides your negative, obviously got the positive and negative terminals indicated. So you just put that in. We do have a 24 millimeter KR base speaker. I went ahead and sealed up this ends so it gets more of a um, closed off sound, which sounds really great coming out of the pommel here. We do have a little bit of a printed offset ring so that we're not pressing up the speaker up against the brass parts. Although, if that wasn't there, that's not a big deal because I do believe this is uh, sized correctly. But we do that just for safety measures. So when we hit the kill switch, we get our boot sound. Uh, I left this off in the corn horn sound font. So, but the Starfall is the top of the preset list. This does support the Starfall font package. So you can put the chassis in any which way. Do note that there's a little bit of a diameter change. So you kind of want to make sure you're not bumping up against the sides there. Goes all the way in, and then you'll just want to press with your finger down. You can sort of see the brass goes away when you point it down like that, and then set your pommel set screw. And you don't have to torque too hard, just tighten it down. And now we've got connection. So if we hit the power switch, got our PCBs lighting up like they should. This is just gonna mimic what the blade does. 
So if you decide to get a um, blade plug in the future, you can light it up. This does take a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade. I've programmed it for 32 inch, but here I just will have a demo blade here so we can show off a couple things. Um, but yeah, this in the off state, you can just press aux to move forward. Liquid static. So I did provide a couple extra presets that are default profi fonts towards the end there. You can check those out as your leisure, but this does come with the Starfall font collection, eight sound fonts, and then the last preset battery level. is a battery level indicator. You won't see it now because, again, it's programmed for a 32-inch length, but the very tip will be lit if the uh, battery is charged, and as it depletes, it will get closer to the hilt. It will change from green to blue to down to red, uh, but you'll likely hear that speaker crackle before you get there. So you'll, that'll just be your indicator to go ahead and charge the battery. So Starfall, Starfall will be the top of this uh, sound fonts. And again, I'm just hitting aux to move forward. There's a couple other functions you can do by, you know, holding and rotating, but um, that's gonna be on a printout. Anything this video doesn't cover will be here on a printout that goes over all of the functions uh, there's a lot that Profi can do, and again, this is sporting OS 7.13, which is the latest, so all of the features that come with the newest OS are available. I have only programmed this for those particular sound fonts, so to take advantage of the features, you'll have to learn. Uh, so there's a link on the printout to learn more. Again, this is running FET263 prop file, so we've got gesture controls we can twist on, uh, let's see that red blade. Aux for blaster blocks. But again, this is a short demo blade, so we're not seeing all of the effects. Clash. Um, so. So if you do leave the chassis in and the kill switch on, I believe I've set this to a five minute off. So it'll go to sleep, but it's not a deep sleep, but um, it will help to not deplete the battery as much. But if you do deplete the battery, you'll get an audio indicator that says low battery. Um, and trust me, it'll be creepy if you just leave this in a office somewhere and forget about it. So to get to that, we just pull the chassis out hit the kill switch, and then we can store it long term, or we can take the battery out, charge it up, or put a brand new battery in. I'm only providing this one, but you can get high amp, high current. This is a key power, 18650, high current draw. I think it's 3000 milliamp hours. So you should get a pretty good amount of time with it when it's fully charged. So. That's that, so let's hop out. We'll put a full blade in. We'll go over the rest of the functions. That should cover it. Again, I just wanna exercise caution that as we're putting it in and out, this is you know just a PLA print, so you wanna make sure you don't drop it. So always do it over a table or make sure you've got your hand ready to go uh, with the battery in. It just comes out very easily. So that being said, you know, you're good to go. And again, if you do, tend to reprogram this often and keep lifting the board if you don't have a 90 degree cable, then I would suggest a small piece of, I think this is a quarter inch tape, any kind of tape will work. I generally choose Captain Tape um, since we do have electronics here. But that being said, that's the Sabre. Let's hop out, let's show a couple functions with the blade in and we'll wrap it up. All right, so we talked about the electronics. We went over a few functions there down on the ground just so you can see what's going on. So let's talk blade styles and other functions that you can only access with the uh, buttons. So at the top of the video, you saw me demonstrate the Starfall sound font, uh, which is the first in the line of presets that I've included for the Starfall sound font package. That's eight sound fonts and an additional preset for battery level indicator, which we are currently on. This hilt accepts a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade I have programmed it for a 32 inch length, which this is. We've got a, mostly a full charge on the battery, so we can see this tip is all the way out at the top. Uh, as we deplete the battery, this will change colors as it goes down the blade, and you can uh, it'll get, go to, down to red. You will likely hear speaker crackle or weird uh, things before 
it stops being able to light or you actually get an alert that says low battery. If you don't have a blade in and you do want to get like a kind of a percentage readout, you can hold aux and tap power. Again, I don't know if I mentioned that below, but left when the hilt is facing you is your power, right is aux. So we hold aux tap power. And we have the Hu Yang voice pack from Brian Connor that I've provided for edit mode. You'll really only get that if you're doing that or the volume level. If you do decide to jump into edit mode, which is on the printout that I'm providing, I'm not gonna cover that here, but you'll have Hu Yang kind of guiding you along. So that's the battery level preset. This is the last preset in the line of presets I've included. So if we hit aux, we'll move forward. If we point the hilt down and hit aux, we'll go backwards. So let's just go ahead and go to the top. So now we're on Starfall. So to start the Saber, we can either hit power or we can use a gesture control. I've included twist on and thrust on. Those will get you into battle mode. But if you don't like battle mode, um, then you can just hit power. Now we're in regular mode. And all that really means is that clashes are just clashes. If you want to engage a lockup, you have to hold either aux or power as you clash. If you get a lockup, you'll stay in it for as long as you're holding... Oops, accidentally hit a couple buttons. You'll stay in it for as long as you're holding that, that button. Uh, that uh, applies to tip effects as well, which is a melt if we're in the horizontal position, or a drag if we're pointed down. So let's demonstrate those with battle mode. So again, that was regular mode by hitting power. If we use twist on, or thrust on, you gotta point the hilt sideways, and you either push or pull, then you will get into battle mode. So now, I clash, we're gonna engage the lockup until we pull away. Now you can move around a little bit, but when you jerk the saber away, you will begin a lockup. And I accidentally hit a button there. So. Let's move to another one. So again, let me demonstrate that one more time. So a clash begins the lockup, so we pull the saber away, and if we want to do a melt, we have to be sideways and thrust forward. Oops. Okay. And if we twist the hill, we'll change the colors a little bit. Might, might be blown out on screen. The longer I hold it, the more active it gets. And then the same goes for if we're pointing down to get drag. Okay, so that is battle mode. It just covers uh, lockups essentially. So if you don't like that and you wanna be in control of when the lockups happen, you can just hit power. Now, gesture controls will bypass prions. There's only one sound font um, from the Starfall sound font that I've included with a prion and that's Ruin. So let's hop there real quick. Heroes. So you can only get the prion if you tap power. If you do a gesture control, you bypass it. So it's just a quick little bass flare animation on this particular sound font. Then we get the ignition, right? So if we use a gesture control, we're gonna bypass that ignition, right? And bypass that prion, okay? So that's just ruin. Again, I'm gonna go backwards here. Hero's journey. Okay, so for Tracks, to start and stop a track, will hold the power for about a second. It's a, it's a long press. Um, any other position than upright, you'll be, uh, when the saber is off, you'll start in track player mode. So you'll get a little chime and then you'll select the track. I have designated a uh, track for each preset. And then the only way to get that track is to point the saber upright. So let's do that real quick. Hold it for a second, power. So we're gonna start that track for this pre for hero right um and then hold it again to turn it off we can start and stop the designated track when the uh, when the saber is lit but we can't get into track player mode unless we're the blade is off so let's do that real quick blade is on hold power for a second have to be upright though starts off quiet at the beginning Stop it by, by being upright, okay? If we're in any other position when the blade is on, we're gonna do a force or a quote. Now, 
The Starfall font package comes with a mix of quotes and force effect sounds. There's only generally about four to six effect sounds, but um, it just depends on which preset or sound font you're on. Now, I've done a little animated blade style that will happen for as long as it plays a force sound, so let's do that real quick. It's the same button press. Hold power for a second, and you'll see it kind of went unstable, and then it stabilized. So this particular sound font only has four sounds. Um, you'll get random quotes if you're in the other one. Um, if you add fonts in the future, you can get into quote player mode and you'll just switch by pointing the hilt down and holding for a second, right? But if we're in the off state, in any other position, we'll get into track player mode. So hold for a second. You'll hear that weird little chime. Now, if we rotate, We'll go alpha numerically through the tracks, and I've put that in the common folder. And then you've got a number of different button presses to continue playing the track, uh, but for the most part, you can read about that on the printout. I'm just gonna hit power, and that will accept this particular track. And now I can move the saber around without changing tracks. So now I can start the saber up if I wanted to. But to turn the track off, again, while the blade is on, I do have to be upright. Okay, so that's force, quote, track, and track player mode, all with one long press on the button, depending on if the saber's on or off, and depending on which orientation you have the blade, okay? So um, to get color change, when the blade is on, we'll do the same combination that we did to get the volume level, I'm sorry, the uh, battery percentage, and then we'll just hit uh, hold ox and tap power, and then um, we're not, I, I need to make sure I've included the chime. It's not on this particular um, voice pack, so I'll add that back in a second. But you'll hear a little chime, and now Hu Yang is telling you which of the orange like 16 to 20 colors. Dark orange. You can hold a button and get into in between colors. I always orange. struggle to demonstrate that, Gold. so I'm not going to. Yellow. It's on the printout if you want to read how to do that. To accept that color, you hit power. Now when we turn the saber off, we'll be a, a yellow. And again, if I switch, I can Hero's journey. go back to this and it'll remember yellow, right? Um, but if we want to change it, uh, hold ox tap power, okay? Red, orange, red. I'm gonna get back to Dark green. Orange, orange. If we like what we're at and we accidentally Gold. jumped into here, you can hit ox to revert. Yellow. So green, ox, yellow, revert. So, now it's reverted and you're back into regular, right? Green. All right, so now I've accepted green back to this color. So that's color change mode. Uh, I briefly mentioned their volume level. So if we're in the off state and we do the inverse, if we hold power for a second and tap aux, we'll get the volume level indicator. And the volume menu. Again, you got Hu Yang. If we rotate to the right, we're gonna increase. If we rotate to the left, we're gonna decrease. And then he'll say if you're on the maximum or not. You'll hear little increments, and I think it's 10%, um, but you'll hear little beeps, right? Minimum volume. So he says minimum when you've hit to the bo uh, bottom. If we rotate to the... Maximum volume. I always like to be one click off for maximum. Volume menu end. And so you just hit power to accept that and get out of it. So... So that's going to cover the majority of it. Um, I will say one thing with color change mode, the very last Starfall sound font uh, preset is Cornhorn, and you're not gonna jump into the um, color wheel. What you're gonna do is color change direct. So let's demonstrate that real quick. Okay, so now we're on Cornhorn. So if we light the saber up, right? And we hit hold aux and tap power, it's just gonna wipe from this light purple back to white. So instead of going into color change, uh, it's just swapping between those two colors because the corn horn uh, lore and history, it's a dual phase crystal, uh, comes from the I Jedi book. It's just something that Nick wanted to match the uh, theme of that particular sound font. So there's a couple other default profi fonts on this SD card. Um, if you want to program those into the Saber, you can do edit mode. Again, it'll be on a printout. Um, you can just duplicate one of the presets I've done, change the color, change the sound font, 
um, and it'll, you'll jump into the edit mode menu system to do that. Again, I've included the config on the SD card if you need it for um, historical purposes. I highly recommend taking the SD card out right away when you get the Sabre, back it up on your computer, and then put it back into the Sabre. Um, and then that way you always have a backup, uh, but you'll have that config if you decide to learn how to edit in the future. Um, it's not necessary. You can do a bunch of uh, functions on the Sabre itself. It's just if you want to make the Sabre your own in the future. So that's going to cover it. Hope you enjoy this. Thanks for checking it out for anyone else who's watching this video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.